Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Let's get out of here. Uh, I think we're pretty much done here. There might actually be thinking about it. Did we get the other moonfish that was here? We do have four of them to hand in, so that's where we're going to be going next. Uh, I might also need to consult my notes as well, because... There is another character that we can fight that does actually involve. Hmm. Yeah, there is another character that we can fight that involves these moonfish. I mean, I don't think we've done that yet. So. Uh, near the second here from the right side looking towards the town hmm I'm curious I can't remember if we got this one or if we had to See, there's the town pretty sure we already got this moonfish right where are you I mean, would the second pier be the one that we're on? I guess so. That makes sense. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Failing that, we can always come back and find it if we're wrong. Second pier, looking towards the town. I mean, I'm not hearing any of the relevant noises. Hmm. Definitely not hearing any noises, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say we probably got this one earlier. That would be my guess anyway. So there's just a ship docked here. There's nothing to do with us. And that's our merchant ship. I wonder if I could... Nah, I shouldn't just sneak aboard. Who knows what they'd do to me if they found me. Exactly, Vase. Who knows indeed. Anyway, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to Sailor's Island. And uh, on the way back to Sailor's Island, we need to have a little look for our friend. And we need to check out the shop as well. So, we should be able to just go through here now. Now, there's also some discoveries to get, which we'll look into. Um, right. Can't zoom in, can we? Of course we can't zoom in. That's silly talk. I guess we're just going to go this way. Back through Nasra. Or Nassar, however you say it. Ah, look at them. Uh, we're the Nassar Air Guard. It's our duty to defend the South Daniel Strait. South Daniel Strait is a restricted area. No one the forest bus. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we can't actually go back that way. Oh, right, yeah. No, my bad. We're going too far up. I see the problem here. Balls. Oh, God, combat. Nothing wrong with a little bit of combat. So, what are we fighting exactly? Really, one score fly. Get the hell out of here, dude. Not even worth my time. One experience, or one magic experience, I should say. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, sea fish. Yeah, thought that would be actually worth a little bit more than that, but hey, what do I know? What have we got? That's a little bit more like it. Um, we can't do rain of swords, can we? Nope. Normal attack. Can, you can do your Lombarda burst, but I'm going to go and say these things are immune to the fire. Unless she's just that OP. Yeah, she's just that OP, I guess. Fair enough. I'm not going to argue with that. Happy days. Right, cool. Okay. Uh, where are we now? Yeah, we're a little bit too far towards value for my liking. Not that I'm worried about those gits, but... 
we can avoid them, all the better. Is this the dude we want to talk to? I don't... Nah, it's not him. Oh, we've got these weird pumpkin things. Uh, sure. I like the way that we can use this Lambada burst straight off the bat with Ica. That really does help quite nicely in the total and complete destruction of every enemy on the board. Nice. Okay. What do you have? During ship battle, sometimes your gunners will lose sight of their targets. Any gunner worth his salt will shout lost when this happens. This often happens when your opponent gets behind you in the heat of battle. Yeah, well, you have very little um, control uh, when it comes to that kind of stuff. Okay, let's go see our friend. She looks like an android or something. I see you've got some moonfish. Yeah, let's feed the little critter. Go on, then. What have we got? Oh, yeah, he started to change. Let's see what happens. Grow, my pretty. Grow. Um, I'm guessing it's going to get a little bit bigger yet. I think it was like, yeah, there's 24 moonfish. All right, what do we get? Female armor. Uh, okay. All right, hang on. Let's check out this female armor first, shall we? It's a very specific type of armor, I guess. Um, let's have a look. I guess Ica or Fina. Equipment, fiber robe, Fem oh, armor crafted to fit a woman's body and protect it from enemy attacks. Okay, that's actually quite good. It's quite a bit better than her fiber robe. Uh, I can Fina wear that. I'm gonna say she probably can't, but let's have a look anyway. She's got the light. Oh, she can wear the female armor, but. It's not as good. Alright. Well, that's Ica's then. I mean, cool, I guess. Can we go to the right thing, please? Equipment. Fiber robe. Yeah, okay. Happy to get that. I mean, an improvement is an improvement, right? Oi, douchebag, come back. Got more fish for that weird thing of yours. Hi. I see you've got some more. We have. Yes, there we go. Moonfish. How are you doing, buddy? Come on, cough up the goods. Give me the give me the goods. And it's a pretty disgusting creature to be fair. So what have we got? What ah the white map. Right. That reduces combat. Which is really fucking cool. Alright, let's continue. So I don't know if the white map is a item that we equip. I guess so. Alright, what do you got for me this time, dude? Please be something good. Uh, 30... with 30 fish. That was rubbish. Dude. Don't give me fish. I can go capture those. And they've been rotting away in your gut. So, definitely not interested in those. Something different about him. Ooh. He's changing. He's evolving. Uh, don't know. Look, he looks different for some reason. I don't know why or how, but he just looks like every time he grows, his body changes in other ways too. Uh, it's got more of a cone head, I guess. Right, what have we got? Warrior's heart. Okay. Right, well, that's us done. So, what, pray tell, is a warrior's heart? Um, warrior's heart. 
I guess anybody can check this out. So let's go for items. So the white, I'm guessing. White map. Okay. A map that lends a... Yes. Interesting. Also improves the chances of running away from enemies. Hmm. Okay. That's going to be quite nice, actually. When we're looking for enemies. Or when we're looking for discoveries. Definitely going to be using that. Um, so we've got four captain stripes as well. Oof, okay. Now, what was this warrior's heart that we've heard so much about? There's nothing there. Yes, it's... N oh, we've got a cham. Might as well feed him the cham. Um, is it a key item? Doubt it. Nope. Warrior... Ah. Warrior's, rune, Warrior's Heart. A ring with a glowing gem that allows the user to recover spirit during battle. That could be interesting. Okay. Let's have a look. Vase. Equipment. Let's check that out. So he's already got the Warrior's Rune. How good is... Yeah, see... Mm, 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 kind of... Yeah. To recover spirit during battles. So like, eh, eh. I don't know about that. Maybe it's more of something that I give Fina. She's got the silver veil, which doesn't really do an awful lot for her. Um, I guess we'll give it to her because something that's going to allow us to get more spirit is good and that is my scientific opinion of that right let's go back to sailor's island now let's have a little poke around sailor's island oh the music ah the music dude right i don't think anything new's happening in here well, well, long time no see. How have you kids been? Those air pirates that everyone's been talking about, the ones that have been pushing value around. That's you kids, isn't it? Yeah, don't worry. I won't turn you into the value ones. It might happen whether you're a pirate or a soldier, you're a customer or the same. Yeah, cool story. Okay. I guess we're not going to get anything, any new information here, but we can go shopping. And we really need to go shopping. Um... Yeah, this is the shop. The general shop, anyway. Wow, I never thought I'd get to meet Vase the Bold in person. Yeah, <laughs> you're just as cute as they say you are. Well, you know. Um, right, what have we got here? So, cures all adverse effects on one ally. Yeah, we probably want to stack up on some of those. Go on. I do like the fact these items are insanely cheap. There we go. 50 of those should keep us older. Keep us older. Keep us held over. There we go. Max out those. 99. I mean, these things are so cheap. I guess you might as well. Alright. What else you got? Is that literally all you have? I mean, yeah, it doesn't really cost much to max, max us out. All right, fine. Uh, we could sell some items, actually. We've got a lot of weapons and stuff to sell. Sure. Shaped like a bird beak. Beak hand, yeah. We don't need any of this stuff. Pretty sure it's all obsolete. Get rid of all that stuff. You can hear my cat going absolutely crazy outside. But that's okay. He's just a very happy boy today. For some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because he convinced me that uh, he hadn't been fed yet. Little git. Oh, we've got so many rings and things like that. Kai oh, black map. See, I don't know about that. Mm, not sure. See, that one's worth 777, and that one's worth 666. It's kind of curious. 
Yeah, we've got a lot of these, but we don't need them. We don't need to sell them, I should say. Right, that's lightened the old load just a little bit. Hopefully I haven't sold anything there that we could really use. You alright, dude? You got anything new for me? Vase the Bold. It is. It is indeed Vase the Bold. Right. So it's just got the standard cannon. Three inch cannon, which shit. Uh, engine cover. You got nothing. You really, really don't have anything of any value, dude. Seriously? Uh, I don't think bombs are that good, to be honest. Alright, well, I thought this guy might actually have some good stuff for us, but I guess not. Although, uh, yeah. Yeah, so the main cannon is actually affected by the strength of the user. So if somebody has... So if someone strong fires the main cannon, it will do a lot more damage. Yep. Yep, secondary... Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Okay, let's go. Now, I'm wondering if we're actually strong enough to go fight Polly, whatever she's called. Can't actually remember where she is. Uh, let's return to our ship for now. Probably should have uh, rested at the end to get a full save, full heal, but that's fine. Let's have a look. Does anyone need a full heal? Uh, yes. Even the little jacks damaged. Oof. Okay. Alright. Let's just go rest at the end. Because it'll be cheaper to do it that way. Instead of us wasting precious, precious resources. Now the inn was all the way down here. If memory serves. That dude's still having a whale of a time. I can hardly believe it, but they say there's some amazing fellow out there who managed to bust... Yeah, that was us. To think that he busted through those massive steel walls. Man, it's too incredible. That guy really is loving life. Absolutely loving life. You know, we all wish to be half as happy as that guy. Alright, let's give it a save. And talk to you. Well, if it isn't Vase the Bold, welcome to my inn. It's an honor to have you. Rooms are 60 gold a night. Would you like a room? Does the Pope shit in the woods? Oh, and that's making me feel sleepy. <laughs> I'm so tired. And I don't know why. Maybe with the booze last night. I don't know. Maybe. Right, that's us topped up. Drop another save. Okay. Now, according to my official guide, we are ha Oh, didn't actually want to go up there. He's kind of on a rail. According to my official guide, we're almost... We're about halfway through the game, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Now, I thought Poppy was, like, around here somewhere. She's, like, floating around in the sky. I did think you could talk to her here somewhere, but I guess not. All right, let's return to the ship. Now, Poppy, where are you? I'm sure she's called Poppy. Or something like that. That's not her. That's our friend. I know she's hanging around here somewhere. Nope. That is not what we want. Really? Okay, let's go for Lombarda Burst. I don't know how that ring's going to work that's supposed to give us more spirit. I don't know whether that's uh, uh, just going to, you know, be passive or is it something that we have to use? I'm guessing it's passive. Hey, rank up, Noxie. Cool. Right, you... Merchant ship. Wow, that's an impressive weapon you have there. Hey, is that a harpoon cannon? I've heard those things can blast through stone reefs. Yep. Well, lucky, lucky we have one of those, eh? Uh, 
that's just a standard enemy enemy frigate I believe yeah I guess we'll take him on just because do not underestimate the power of the ship we've got a magic cannon on board yeah well uh, I hope that works out for you dude gear grease gear grease Yeah, you're doing a reasonable amount of damage, but it's not that impressive. Oh, God. Yeah, you're going to be gone very soon. Sorry, friend. Certainly picked the wrong ship to pick on today. A couple more shots like that, and he is out of here. Right, let's go for Type G. Go for the Hunter Torpedo as well. I guess we'll pop... Um, a repair kit too, just to keep us, you know, fighting. And we'll go for another five. Oh no, we don't want the five inch. We want the G. Oh come on, you missed. It's always so frustrating when you actually miss in this game. I don't know why, but it's way more frustrating than it should be. Uh, he's done. Definitely not actually worth fighting those. Like the sheer amount of time it takes to fight them, they're just... It's interesting. They're just so unbelievably not worth it. Uh, right, can I use my magic? Ah, I love the fact that I can use that to heal the ship. Now, where is this Polly woman? Maybe she's around here somewhere. Right, one second guys, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to go find her. Okay, I forgot we actually had the black spot in our inventory and she is, of course is waiting west of us apparently. Although we get intercepted by some goons on the way, because of course we do. Oh, okay, that's fine. We'll just use uh, a Lombarda Burst to get rid of these things. Nice. <laughs> oh, baby. That was more than a triple. Serves them right. It does. Serves them right. Not oh, bad, Drachma. Oh, it's like. It's not worth fighting. None of this is worth fighting. That's got to be her there. So. Actually. A quick save it there. I'm not sure if that is her. Oh, wait, I think it is. That is her, yes. You're the one that put out that black spot and called me out here. So. She wasn't in the Dreamcast version. Young female voice. Yes, you are correct. You've been quite the popular air pirate around these parts lately, you know. However, I cannot sit idly while air pirates fly the skies freely and do as they please. Also, she's actually a good character. She's got like a fucking scythe or something. My name is Pistol. I'm a bounty hunter and I specialize in finishing off air pirates. I am feared amongst even the most hardened air pirates. They have dubbed me the Angel of Death. Alright. She thinks highly of herself then. And the angel has come for you, Vase. Wow, imagine that. You've actually become famous enough to have real bounty hunters come after us. Oh, grow up, Vase. It's not a good thing when bounty hunters start coming after you. Especially ones called the Angel of Death. I <laughs> like Vase, he just doesn't give a shit. You seem confident. Perhaps you truly are as strong as they say. I suppose this is why you've been able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Valua. However, you are still just an air pirate. I send you and your mangy crew to the bottom of the clouds. Is that right? Wow. 
Uh, I think she's actually quite tough. I've never actually, you know, fought her because... I'm pretty sure, as I said, she's not in the Dreamcast version. Ah, uh, so there's Death Hound. I mean, maybe everybody just wail on Death Hound first. We will actually use Ica. Everybody get get quicked up. Glyph of speed. Yeah, okay. Let's use our first round buffing. Uh, now apparently the recommended level is twin is 15 glyph of speed so we're a little bit above that but you know let's see how tough she actually is uh, special move let's use delta shield uh i want you to try and try and luna glyph that thing and you you know what just attack attack the death hound Let's see what happens. Is she as dangerous as I thought? Okay, she does hurt. She does hurt. Be a bit disappointing if she didn't, not gonna lie. That, oh, right, so we've actually stoned the Death Hound. That's good. So I know that's a possibility. Uh, right, so let's go for some Cutlass Fury on the Death Hound. Now, Ica, I want you... I don't know if she's going to have any magic attacks. Just go for a normal attack for now. Actually, I want everybody to start buffing. Baze can buff. Uh, you can attack... Yeah, so she does hurt, but it's not, like, extremely bad. Wow. Should be able to get that uh, death hand done pretty fast. That is a nice buff to have as well. Yeah, that death hound shouldn't take too long. Although, interestingly enough, old Drachma... He's not doing a huge amount of damage to it. Actually, no. Let's go for Cutlass Fury. Get it. Ica, go for a Glyph of Might. Use that on Drachma. Drachma definitely seems to need it. Um, you. Use Lunar Blessings now. Drachma, just Glyph of Might. And who hasn't been mighted? I guess Ica. Go for Ica. Then we can do Fina later. Alright, get everybody buffed with some regen. It's definitely going to help out, I think. Uh, that should be... Yeah, that's the dog gone. Cool. I'll take it. Okay. She's got a lot of health. A lot of health, but that's fine. We can handle that. Right, everybody get mighted up. I mean, 25% is 25%, right? Everybody getting healing. Nice. Uh, we have some Cutlass Fury on her. Ica, go for it. You give yourself a glyph of might. I mean, sure, why not, right? Uh, everybody else just beat the shit out of her. Tempest Dance. What does this do? Alright, not bad. And that only attacks one as well. Thought that was going to be a lot worse than it was, not going to lie. Counterattack is punishing. Yeah, we, we should have her. I mean, she's, I can see, like, if we were, you know, 10 levels ago, this would have been probably unbelievably hard. But as it stands, I think we're okay.
That little bit of healing each turn is really nice as well. Um, I guess we could do... I don't know. What's, let's see if... No, nah, let's just go for Cutlass Fury. Uh, and yeah, sure. Just attack. And what I want you to do... Lunar Glyphor. See if you actually can stone her as well. Because if we can stone her, then it's a rat. I mean, it's already a rat. Attorney. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not what we wanted. Oof. That's, that's worrying. Okay, that didn't actually do any damage to her at all. So I guess she's immune. Which is nice to know. Looks like she's going to counterattack every time, or pretty much. Nice little health top up. Let's go for Cutlass Fury again, and everybody just wail on her as usual then. That's fine. Not sure why she's choosing to attack and not using a more powerful move. But I'm not complaining. No complaints from me. No, sir. Complaining. Pah! Doesn't sound like something I would do. She is done. Yeah, she is actually reasonably tough, though. As I said, if we weren't so overpowered, that would have been really rough. Alright, we've got a good amount of XP for that, too. And loads of gold. Hey, leveled up. Nice. Alright, happy with that. How? How could this be? How could I lose to a lowly air pirate? I'm sorry, but I'm a tad too young to die just yet. Come back in maybe 50 or 60 years. I might be ready to keel over by then. But in the meantime, we're going to continue sailing, and I think it's time for you to get back to your own ship. Grr. <gasps> that scar, the one on your cheek, and your goggles. Huh? What are you mumbling about now? It can't be. No, I'd recognize this anywhere. It's you. Huh? As I have told you, I am known across the skies as the Angel of Death. Yeah, well, not quite the Angel of Death, are you? It's more like the Angel of Failure. <laughs> I swear upon that cursed name that I will hunt you down and finish you off. I will find you again, and your deaths I shall bring. Uh, why don't we just, like, kill her now and be done with it? Until then, I will let you live. However, the next time we meet, it will be the end of you. Yeah, just like burn her ship while she's on it and laugh as she descends, burning to death into the into the clouds below. I mean, that's what I would do. Because, you know, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Anyway, now we've bested her, which was on my to-do list for quite a while. Um, when we come back, I think, I'm going to skim my notes, but I think we're caught up now. I think we can continue the storyline. There are a few things that we can find in the North Sea that uh, I'll probably do the return journey off camera and I'll meet you guys back in the North Sea. Yeah, that sounds like the best thing to do because it's quite a trek back. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.